Hey guys, I'm back. I've returned from China, and I was actually a lot more busy than I thought helping my dad out with his work, and didn't really have time to do much of my own. But I definitely gained something much more valuable. It's, I was able to take a step back, take a look at the bigger picture, and have another mindset shift. I would probably call it a mindset evolution. I was able to set my goal bigger, and figure out a way how I can connect my passion, my dreams, into helping other people and helping helping more people, and change the world in a bigger scale. I'm although I'm really excited to share that with you today. I want to take just a my first step forward and do something very important. For the longest time, you've known me as Fantasy, but in order for me to show you where I'm going, I need to show you where I'm from and who I am. My name is Isaac Guo, and this is my origin story. About a year ago from today, I traveled to Canada in an effort to escape Taiwan's mandatory army service. I tried to take the easy way out. It's funny. I had this mindset. I wanted to work and live minimalistically and have all the time in the world to do whatever I wanted. It sounded good on paper. I deluded myself into thinking that it was noble, even. Not desiring, live humbly, seclude myself, never wanting more than what's just enough. I was convinced that it was what would make me happy. I rented out a single room inside a pretty broken-down little house for 300 bucks a month. The 300 included Wi-Fi, water, electricity, utilities, and rats. Lots of them. They were my neighbors in that house from the first day I moved in to the day I moved out. I've never spent any money outside of groceries and absolute necessities. Walmart had these checkout machines. And when I found out that the machines didn't hold pennies and would always round to the nearest multiple of five, I would try my best to calculate the cost of my groceries so the last two digits or the last digit would always end in a one or two, so I can clutch the extra pennies. One night I was going to the fridge to get some food. I found a rat inside chewing on my roommate's cut open half onion. It was pretty disgusting, but I managed to force myself to get a plastic bag and trap the rat in the bag, and eventually throw it out into the trash outside. The incident shocked me so much that I began to question my whole philosophy: What exactly the fuck am I doing? Why am I doing this? There was no meaning to my suffering, and I was only a hollow shell of a human being with no purpose. I decided to get up and do something. At the time, while looking for solutions, I came across a YouTube video teaching people how to make money online doing e-commerce. I had two choices at the time. They were both pretty bad: to turn back and continue my miserable existence, or to risk what little I had on the hope that this might possibly turn out good. I decided to give it a try. I studied all the books that I can get my hands on, did tons of research, watched every single guide there was, used all the ways that I knew I could get information. I even bought a course from one of the e-commerce marketing gurus. After two months of 18-hour, non-stop 18-hour workdays, I launched my first online store selling anime products. I made a few sales here and there. And some of you probably con contributed to that a little bit, but my extremely low margins were never able to cover my ad costs. Eventually, I ran out of money. I had to ask my parents if I could move back home with them. I failed. It was embarrassing. Although my family loved me, they pitied me, and was disappointed in me. I gave up. 
I heard the statistic so many times in all the books I read. Only one out of every 20 companies are successful for more than 10 years. I was convinced that I wasn't one of the chosen 5%, not even close. I was a loser. After about two months of absolutely doing nothing, fucking around, being a damn neat, my father came to me with an opportunity. He wanted me to join him on his business ventures in China. My father was everything that I was not. He's been the owner and the boss of a successful urban, urban planning firm for more than 15 years. He's one of the 5%, a winner. I was ready to accept my fate. I thought, if I was a loser, then the only way I can win is to rely on a winner. But for some odd reason, YouTube recommended me an interview video of Dan Locke. If you guys don't know who he is, he is a multi-millionaire business consultant. Um, and it sort of got me interested. It sort of kind of reignited um, a little bit of the passion in me. I was interested in these really, really, you know, mega rich people. And I wanted to know what made them different. I wanted to know what separated it, separated them from me. What separated them, the winners, from me, a loser. In Dan Long's interview, he mentioned that he failed in 13 businesses before he found success. It reminded me of how almost in every story from small six-figure e-commerce e-commerce gurus to historical revolutionaries, they all had one thing in common. They had to fail multiple times before finding success. The statistic only 5% of companies are successful doesn't actually mean that only 5% of entrepreneurs are winners. It just means that you have to try and try again until you make it. When I found that out, when I made that connection, I had the biggest aha moment of my life. I finally knew who the winners are. They're the ones who never give up, try and try again, until they win. In my last trip to China, after we got all our work done, I sat down and had a serious talk with my father. I told him, I can no longer work with you in your business because I have something more important that I absolutely must do, that I'm going to change the world. And like any good parent would, he told me I was out of my fucking mind. <laughs> he told me about all the hardships and obstacles that I will need to overcome in business, that it was a pity that I was throwing away a perfect money-making opportunity to pursue something that I have no skills, no talents, and no experience in, that I've only played video games all my life what the fuck do I know about making one? And finally, he asked me, how long? If things don't work out, how long will you keep trying? A month? Half a year? How long before I cut my losses and give up? I smiled and I told him, I will never give up.